Uh, I love being under attack on my pod. It's just the We're status quo. We're not attacking quo. you. You just... We made a reference. You and can't you pronounce people's names. And we names. were shaming you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, I didn't have cable, so... <laughs> this was, like, in college. I nothing to do, yeah. I did, it's my get-out-of-jail-free card. Leave me alone. No, I feel like you were inhabiting enough spaces to know exactly who the singer Mika was. Like, I, I really yeah. don't... I, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> the song Grace Kelly was everywhere. Everyone Grace knows Kelly it. was everywhere. Like, my last boss... It wasn't directly my boss, I guess. Like, old dude... He, he knew Mika. In fact, one time he, this was, oh God, I would sometimes call him dad after this. Um, he told me like the week prior that he had gone to see Mika in concert with his daughter when she was younger. Um, and so like after work, he, he caught me in the kitchen. He was like, okay, Mika, hold this. I'm like, okay. Then he took a picture of me and he was like, okay, so now you're looking at Mika looking at a photo of Mika, like Mika Satchin. <laughs> and I had him back his phone, like, I'm going home now, Mark. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that really tickled you, didn't it? <laughs> Dude was such a dad. Um, such a solid guy, too. Like, considering, like, I was, I was in Utah, I... Uh, Dude's Mormon, Canadian Mormon though. I grew up Mormon, so like I'm not okay. being like uh, more no. Um, uh, but like very cool. We it was an ad agency, and uh, one of our, our clients was um, HIV Utah. And I guess when he was in college, F, before he got into marketing, he was uh, considering being a doctor. And you know this was in the '90s. Um, when there was still the especially huge stigma against HIV AIDS and his teacher took him to an HIV ward. And after that experience, um, he random Canadian Mormon dude just became very like into HIV AIDS rights and stuff. Nice. That's anyway, this, this is a podcast about dungeons. <laughs> nah, not really. Ah! It, it's whatever we want it to be, man. We, we bring people on, and then we get fucking political sometimes. And by sometimes, the past two to three episodes, it just happens, okay? It's the climate of the world we live in. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, no, an election year. Jesus Christ. <laughs> of course we're going to talk a little politics. It's fine. This is Baxter. Oh my god, Baxter. Oh, oh my oh. god, stop. <gasps> and look at those whittle ears. The whittle ears. The whittle oh, ears. He's got a very aggressive underbite. Hi, <gasps> uh, <bow tie. laughs> Hi, buddy. Hey, anyway. We, uh, let, me, let me just do this real quick. Hi, and welcome to Dungeons and Degrees. My name's Adrian. And I'm Alex. And today we're talking to Mika. Mika! Hi, Hi Mika! What's up? <laughs> yeah, we, we, we uh, listen, th this could be a very quick episode because it just we're just going to keep fucking riffing and talking and just listening. So, like, it is what it is. We sometimes talk TTRPGs. Mostly it's just whatever the fuck we want. Like, we start there. Doesn't mean it's going to stay there. <laughs> But now we have it um, on record that, like, we just take Mika and we say, oh, come do this thing with us. Oh. I'll do our, it. Our, yeah. our other <laughs> guest had an, it had an issue, but, like, we still want to record. Oh, Mika, come record with us. Yeah, just, you have to lie to me every single time about it, though, or I won't do it. Yeah, no, every time it's going to be, like, a set. We'll yeah, plan yeah. it and then just be like, oh, well, last minute, it's Mika. But, like, it's planned the yeah. whole time. Yeah, mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot of like faith we have in what's going on because I feel like Mika plays a lot of games on Wednesdays. Uh, true. Well, this month, surprisingly, not so much. Um, I, I I took a step back from being on streams on Roll D Five to focus on the background production stuff. 
Hmm. And I think the next few months, it's still going to be kind of similar. Yeah, I think I'm only scheduled for one game next month? Or... I think it was two, because I signed up for one of them. But it, t- unfortunately, a lot of them were on Wednesdays, and I had yeah. to like find the only one that wasn't on a Wednesday. Um, yeah, that one. Hostile work environment, yes. I don't that's know right. what that's so about, but I'm down it. for it. <laughs> yeah, I can reach you. It's um, you work for a company who, you know, fuck it, I'm just going to find the official description. Hold on. <laughs> no. Hostile work environment TTRPG. I talk while I type things out in Google. You're going to have to deal with that. Okay. Hell yeah. What does it mean to be a professional and why does it matter? What do we owe each other as humans both trapped in and inherently separate from the capital machine? Given the relentless nature of the dominant global philosophy which we find ourselves born into, can we truly maintain a work-life balance or are those both the same thing? I answer none of these questions in Hostile Work Environment, a survival horror tabletop game uh, where you are hunted for sport by an upgunned executives in the bloodstained halls of your office after a corporate buyout. <sighs> it's by Grant Howitt. Bechdel test? There's No, not Bechdel test. That's the, the lady thing, right? Y- yes. You can't just say is that the lady thing and then, like, <laughs> not have outrage. <laughs> <laughs> I just say that we well, walk away. There's, the, there's a there's a there's a there's a movie where like they are all trapped in a building and and like they kill each other and it's like the something test or the something project. <sighs> Isn't the I wedding think... movie too? Is that yeah yeah know. yeah uh, the, the hide and seek or catch me if you not catch not me catch me if you can. If you can. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's a very different movie. That's Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> But yeah, no, yeah. it was giving me like that work environment, like kill everybody vibes is pretty good. Um, so I'm excited. Um, fingers crossed. I don't have to be in a different city that day, but my work is just like crazy chaotic, but I want to be there. And I, yeah. and I cross my fingers and no toes. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> uh, talk to me about RD5 and... Um, What's your position within the the group? Yeah, let me uh, just take a swig of this giant ass bottle of sparkling water first, because like I said, uh-huh. I'm, I'm very dehydrated right now. Right, because no sparkling worries. water is a known hydration system. It is a known known thing uh, that will definitely hydrate you. Yeah, is, the bubbles is, uh, carry the HTO especially far into my yeah. bloodstream because yeah, my yeah, blood's yeah. what hydrates me. Yeah, that's exactly what they they do. <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. Lubricates my bones. It's definitely good for um, you. <laughs> so, Roll D Five started two years ago. Um, I am the co-creator, and uh, uh, originally there were five of us. That's where the D Five came from. We, um, oh god, that isn't even like a proper Medias Ray. Um, so, my brain just. It's, all the it it's unplugged. It Can you plug my brain back in, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just blow on the the cord, and then I'll I'll, yeah. I'll put it back in. Okay. <laughs> the cartridge. Yeah. So, um, Anduin, the creator, um, she and I went to college together, uh, Southern Virginia University, which is basically BYU Virginia, and she was only there for a year. I think I was there the whole time, uh, but we kept in contact. So we bonded over like Doctor Who. Uh, I went to Comic-Con in Salt Lake City with her a few times. And then during the pandemic, she messaged me and said, hey, do you want to be part of a podcast? And I'm like, okay, sure. And we were part of this network that uh, will not name, partially because they rebranded and I don't know their new name anyway. Um, <laughs> and so we, this was going, this was on uh, foray into GMing. We played Mouse Guard. Um, didn't care that much for the system, personally. Uh, it was it was cute. It was fun. My character's name was a Lemon Whisker. Um, and then after that, uh, we did season two. Two people left because they were being dicks. Uh, brought on two new people. Uh, one of them being my friend Steph, who is absolutely lovely. Um, we we. 
that's a whole other story we don't need to talk about. Um, <laughs> and then uh, Crit Award nominated player Matthew Say. Uh, oh, look at Ooh, that, yeah. that drop in. Mm. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we did the second season, Monster Mix Machina, which uh, I'm very proud of. We did a great job. Um, I played a robot named Lemon the Dud, who was a detective. Uh, none of this is important to the story. Uh, then after, we were just done with this this uh, company, this website, because they were not treating us well, even though we actually had the highest ratings of all of their, their podcasts. And so on said, hey, let's just start our own thing. Like, let's get into Twitch streaming. And so we started Roll D5, one of the other people. Uh, she came up with the name, Lindsay. Uh, then we started. Uh, at first we started, we were going to do a long running series that we uh, where we use the Arium system where you create the world yourself uh, that's how we created the world of our second season um, shout out to Arium love it it doesn't you don't have to use that system specifically it's a great world building tool for any system you're using um, and they, like it ended up now working out and then two of the players had to drop out because it work like Lindsay had a lot of stuff going on Steph is a lawyer and so she had a lot going on. Uh, mm -hmm. So it was just me, Matthew, and on for a while. Then around the one-year anniversary, Matthew ended up leaving. Uh, and then about a year ago also, we made the decision to uh, focus on indie games. Uh, that's our thing. We, we focus on indie games, usually one-shots, sometimes two-parters. Um, and it, it started... I brought up the idea right before the the OGL license scandal of Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. uh, then once that happened, like we completely made the change to mostly focus on indie games. That's Roll D five. That was a longer explanation than I was expecting <laughs> to give. We like the history and lore drop. So like, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not worried about. it. I want to know where you came from, where you go. It is the Cotton Eye Joe. Where come? Missive. Yeah, I was gonna mm. fucking say that yeah. Cotton Eye Joe. The where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe initiative. Yeah. 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 Little known fact, uh, Dungeons and Degrees is a uh, Cotton Eye Joe standcast. <laughs> standcast. Stand yeah. 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 We ask the question oh. every the week. The philosophy, we follow it to a T. <laughs> we just want to know <laughs> those things in any particular order. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? You know? Yeah. I don't know about Cotton Eye Joe. Joe. I haven't met him on my journey yet. Um. I'm not a high enough level, but at some point I will meet the great NPC Cotton Eye Joe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Really, no spoilers about no what spoilers. the the, the no. mission he gives me no, is. Never. Um, yeah, I, I've met him a few times, but mainly like on like I could see him from afar, kind of thing. Mm. Like I didn't, I don't have the level to meet him, but yeah. like, yeah. Does anyone have the NPC level to meet like? him? I or is he just not. like? I think he's. Or just is he a... just like? No. I think if you say he's usually like in Texas dance halls, that's all I know. Oh, okay. You know, I think oh. I've seen him one time then, but yeah, I was like I, real drunk. I always <laughs> see him like off in the distance, and no matter how much I walk towards him, he always remains the same distance away. Oh, oh, oh no. But oh. again, I don't know if that's a level thing or not. And you hear like bullshit on the radio. Are you just updated? Like, yeah, yeah. Somebody just saying bullshit. Okay, okay. Then I, oh, sorry, it's as far as I know. My job literally has to deal with turning things off and on again, so, like, I have to call somebody else to take care of anything harder than that. I, I teach Relatable. art, so I barely know how to read. Um, I'm <laughs> unemployed, so I just do nothing all day. <gasps> Hell yeah. The dream. <laughs> Please tell I me more about how first. you're unemployed. Please tell yeah, me. Yeah, I... So the what company I worked for with, with the dad guy, um, uh, it was an ad agency. I've been doing copywriting for the past decade, uh, so just advertising, uh, but they didn't have enough work for me. And so mm. I, I was laid off uh, on the, it's not really a bright side, but what helped make it hurt less, I guess, was everyone was genuinely pissed. And the next week they all took me out drinking and got me drunk. Which made me really happy that everyone cared. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was but not a enough year to ago, give you though. a job. Yeah, not enough <laughs> to. They they sent some. Uh, 
freelance work my way. Uh, but otherwise, that was a year ago. Gen Con was actually the one year anniversary of me losing my job. And Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Uh, Sorry, we didn't give you anything. We didn't, um, we didn't know. It's the one year, so it's like paper, I think. So if you send me a postcard, oh. okay. that would, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would okay. count. I got you. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to dox myself, but after this, I'll give you my address. and you can. That's beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'll send okay. you this terrifying sketch that I'm currently making. Uh, <laughs> oh, please do. Are you going to give a chapstick? Are you going to draw some chapstick next to the lips? Listen, no, no, no. See, so what happened? What happened was, is that I saw and I forgot that it was a lemon thing. And so when I started doodling, I was like, oh, I want to draw an orange. But uh, you don't draw oranges in brown. Like, you shouldn't do it in brown. Um, So it it looks just like. (laughs) It's not really an orange, then, is it? (laughs) It's not really an orange. It's, it's a brown. Um, and then I keep adding these swirls as if it's going to get any better. Um, but I did draw a little mouse because you were talking about lemon whisker. And like, so I was like, oh. Yeah. Oh, speaking of lemon. Oh, yeah. Drop. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a whole thing. Um, it is. It's uh, it's my brand. It's the branding. Yeah. That's valid. I mean, listen, it's it's valid. But um, I'm definitely not going to send this to you because this is horrifying. Yeah. Um, a brown a brown orange, orange with swirls so it sort of looks like a butthole now like it's <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> yeah i think uh the mail will get confiscated if it were on a postcard <laughs> with just that yeah. uh, for I... being obscene <laughs> and you might get sued yeah, that's fine. <laughs> for butthole infringement is there a restriction on postcards like is there is there I mean... a restriction I well, imagine think you so. can't put a sticker of a dildo on it. No, I don't think there is because uh, you see these videos all the time of, of dudes who are deployed in Afghanistan and their friends will send them a care package. They'll draw dildos all over it and it, it gets through the mail. They're like, ah, this is going out of country. Not my problem. <laughs> Get these dicks out of country. Yeah. No, it's just the size. Just the size? That's what all that matters? This, flat stickers the are... As long the as they're filter. flat stickers, yeah. the, the, the postcard is a certain... <laughs> postcards Dimension. must be at least three and a half by five at the smallest and no larger than six and an eighth and by eight and eleven. I think... I by eight that. and a half, sorry. Or eleven and a half words. That's the size of printer paper, I think. Eight, eight and a half by eleven and a half. Six I think. and an eighth by eleven. Eight and a half by eleven is a par- standard printer size. So as long as you cut it mm-hmm. down a little bit, two inches. Yeah. Interesting. But yeah. Well, now you know. Send send all the all your mail. Um, we're gonna dox Mika right here. Right here, right, right now. here. Adrian and Post will put it right here. <laughs> Just send me postcards. I like postcards. I might not yeah. write you back, but I would appreciate a postcard. <laughs> Please stop sending uh, giant boxes of dildos. That Just one will suffice. You can just send a photo in the mail. Yeah, send me That's a photo true, of a dildo. Yeah. You could just send yeah, yeah, a photo. Yeah, yeah. That'll yeah. fit. That'll fit. I'll hang it up on my wall uh, behind my little workstation here. So every time I stream, I can uh, look up and... It's like, oh, yeah, uh, that yeah. fucker doxed me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I feel weird saying it this way. Uh, why did you go to Gen Con? <laughs> like, <laughs> see, like, that's not the right phrasing. It's like... Um, if what, you're what so you unemployed, why did you even um, go? <laughs> It's because I paid for everything before I lost my job. I paid for it like pretty. Um, I guess I used some of my em- I used my employment money to to pay for the housing, and because we got a house together, housing really wasn't that bad. Um, so that's how I could. Also, it was a two-hour drive for me, so I didn't have to get a plane ticket. Uh, if I had to get a plane ticket, no, that would have been game over. Yeah. Much too much. Otherwise, I spent. 30 bucks in a tank of gas to get there and back nice um but i went because a bunch of my friends were going and because it was just right there yeah um, two hours away <laughs> and i really wanted to meet all of my online ttrpg friends yeah that's why we went that's why we went it was fun 
10 out of 10 would do again. And we went, We you. will! Yeah! yeah! Woo! It was great. You met me when we I was a having a small panic attack at the bar. I met you a little before that, but it's okay. I just also was like, hey, I said hi to this person, and this person looks like they're alone. I want to make sure this person's okay. I th Oh, did I meet you at that other party that was like the night before? No, no, it was. I met you right before, and we were. T we. I said Taskmaster, and you got very excited. Yes. And I'm like, oh. Yes. And then. Oh, okay. No, same like, thing. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to say like that. I guess that. Would, yes. No, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And then, and then I was like, later, like in the con, I'm like, okay, somebody's dropping out because they're not texting me back. You know who was super excited? I want someone who's super excited about the thing I'm doing. Mika. So I messaged you. Hey, you want to be in this thing? And you're like, yeah. <laughs> it was so good. Very helpful. We needed that. We needed that fifth person. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun. Thank you for thinking of me. Yeah. Well, uh, of course. Like, you were excited about the thing that I was excited about. That made me feel, like, like more interested than the person who ghosted me. So, like, <laughs> not name no names. names will be named because you can play about their name. I want to know. Had, I'm not going to know them they in are. Our podcast you had them there. Anyway, Scandal. so go listen to all of it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's the strategy. Just go listen to all the other podcasts. See who went to Gen Con that we talked to. It was a lot of people. It was like half most of the people the last three months. But, yeah. Um, it was good. Um, I want to talk more about it, but I don't know how much I want to reveal before it comes out because we still have to do a stream about it. But yeah, I'm excited. Um, Alex, Alex feels like she knows who the winner is and I feel like it's still up to debate. I, I really do think I no no, no, based on scoring, based on just the, just the facts. I, I, Yeah. Where do you think you placed, Mika? Um, right in the middle, third place. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah, no, second. I think I got second place. Oh, Ooh. hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, every contestant thinks that they're going to do really well, and then they actually get there, and the taskmaster just shits on you, and you're like, damn it. <laughs> I mean, we will we will admit that you were absolutely the most patient person in by far. Yeah, like yeah. that is a we'll, we can talk about that task. So um, yes, yes, we can do that. The task Mika outperformed literally everybody on. I'm trying to find. I'm I'm pulling up the words in, themselves. Let me. I don't have the words right here. Do you have the words, Adrian? Do oh I yeah, up. I have all the. <clears throat> they're actually just sitting right here on my desk. You gonna find it? Uh, that's the dice bag. Oh, there's the P. Uh, patience, patience, patience was the task. Your time started when we began talking. Your time ended when you asked about the task. By far, outstanding. With and I feel like there was a lot of factors that stopped Mika and <laughs> enabled everybody else to to do stuff like. Mika said, yeah, I'm free. To, I'm down to do anything. And also very nice individual who would just talk about anything. So, like, there's that. Yeah. And we, it was, like, first time us meeting. Um, so, like, there's no, like, rapport. Like, it feels rude to ask about the task a little. So, like, we, we had the other four contestants who, actually, three of them we have met, talked, and had a bit of a time crunch to do their task. So they had to be a little more like a little pushy. Bit, like a little bit, though. Like, not a lot. Oh, I feel... I, I, just, anyways. Because, uh, listen, I don't think... I'm going to be honest. I don't think Mason had a time crunch. We were exhausted. We were exhausted, we had, but I don't think it was... We had to go to the uh, the thing that you did. The thing that I did that on. on. It's fine. That's the third episode in a row that I brought it up. I don't talk about you it. You ditching us. Anyways. Um, <laughs> I want to know I more. I apologize. Oh, yeah. Alex ditched me and Mason mm -mm. to go hang out with a friend. Rude. Uh, we went to this, uh, it's not Bordeaux. That's burlesque? The French... the burlesque. Burlesque, <laughs> thank you. The burlesque show. And it's not like I didn't like it. I just was like, 
oh, I'll be around people who know what they're getting into and enjoy it. Me and Mason have never been to a burlesque show before. It was interesting. I was also very tired. And the people that said that were very excited about it did not go to this thing. So I was kind of like peeved a little already. Yeah. So That was my bad. Uh, So I don't think Mason had a lot of time. Mason had time to just sit here and and listen to it. To me, jibber jabber. Um, Because same thing. I mean, same thing as... No, everyone... Okay. Mason had a time crunch. Mason really didn't have... I don't think he did. Mika had had everything the exact same way. Sure. And fly out the next day. Was that the day he was flying out? That was that was the yeah five a.m. and then it got kept pushing to eleven. Then it came back to oh, yeah, nine. Oh yeah, right. And... It was Sunday. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. However, <laughs> however. Okay. Yes. Okay. The next longest time that let me talk was Gizmo. Mm-hmm. At three minutes and twenty three seconds. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Mika let me talk for ten minutes and twenty nine really? seconds. <laughs> I didn't think it was that long. Mika stopped us was because Alex said, you gotta ask. I can't yes. stop unless yes. you ask. <laughs> At 10 minutes, I was like, no, this baby is, he's won it. They got it. It's fine. Win. One. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. There's going to be so many fades out in that video. Like, we oh don't have God. to have that whole... It's just so many fits. It's going to be... Okay, here's the editing in my head. It's just that, and then it just speeds up. The timer stays consistent, so it'll just kind of, like, speed up with everything else. And then it just, like, the different changes of topics. <laughs> just it oh. keeps doing that. It just jumps to every single topic. Then you see the They're desperation probably... in my face of, like, please say something. <laughs> and I'm just standing there with the camera, just like, I cannot... <gasps> give the game away <laughs> i'm going to be so still right now i'm like in my head i was thinking about it in my head like oh i wonder when the next i guess we're just having a lovely conversation like when when alex is ready they'll they'll give me the task <laughs> <laughs> i mean it was a lovely conversation so good. it was also part of the game i'm sorry everything is content <laughs> Not everything. (laughs) Everything is content. I knew what I was signing up for. Yeah. (laughs) I knew who I married. (laughs) Ah. No, I think that's the greatest thing that we've ever done to any of our friends. Um, And it lives. It will live on in my memory forever. (laughs) Good. This this poor child. This poor stranger. Just like super sweet and jumped in at the last minute. No, no questions if you had plans or not. Just <laughs> held you hostage for ten minutes until I begged for release. Until <laughs> I begged. It's like the uh, what was that in community? Ab is just sitting there, yeah. and the people, the prompt is yes. just going crazy. <laughs> I've already. Alex has already like sent me stuff for next the next one (laughs) i already have it in my head i am ready to go yeah let's Um, go i don't know how i'm gonna do it though uh because i i'm not i don't want any of the people that we had last time because fucking get rid of them cut them out get all all of them get the fuck out of here anyways um but like do we need to buy another mic and coat it in gold paint now, or what? <laughs> I mean, I still have this for... I have... Uh, where is it? Well, that one's for this... The, the, yeah. These competitors. We gotta get Unless it. they don't want it. And then we can just... Oh, just I send it. it around. Like <laughs> I'll a, take uh, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mika said, I want it. <laughs> it's mine. mine. It's mine. Oh, my gosh. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I don't know... I want to do it. I want to do another one because this is this was so fun, and I know it kind of put people in a spot of like, oh, we got to perform a little for here. But like, to be honest, between the games, we still had fun with those individuals, and it was like still a good time and ah, oh, fun, fun. 
Um, and it just breaks up the things that were going on within the con. It was like, I have to perform for people I don't know, and now I'm here with my friends, and now i got tie on time, and I'm like, okay, let's play a little game. We like games, right? Let's play games. <laughs> I just want to see how many people we can get in, like, one... Can we, like, maybe that is, like... <laughs> You're ridiculous. Just how many I'm people... Edit- I think you get like three things. seasons. Not, no, no, easy. Worth of yeah, content, no. yeah. yeah. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, I know. I can't even finish my own two hour or one hour video and cut it down. Jeez Louise. <laughs> I mean, I can do the podcast. That's easy. Stance. But this other stuff, oh. I'm learning new tricks. I'm st- uh, It's so much editing. Anyways, sorry. So enough much about editing. Oh, he's got so oh, much work to do. Oh my God. You're so busy with work. Do you want to edit anything? You want to add anything? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I thought. No. That's what I thought. <laughs> but here you are complaining to Mika, our f- poor, unfortunate, unemployed friend. Uh, no, you can talk Mika's for nine more so minutes. Much. It's fine. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just sit here to my water. You're um, so good, my though. Blood. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Th- that's a true, true sign of friendship. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. True sign of friendship. That's a good water. Is there You're welcome. Story That'll be 50 cents. Lemons? <gasps> yeah, tell us about the lemons. What the lemons? Oh, yeah. So there's no good story there. Um, <gasps> oh, <laughs> so, it's a bit. Oh. 20, 2016, I think, was the first time I played Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I was in grad school. Uh, someone else in the program posted on Facebook, like, "Hey, would anyone be interested in learning? Because I want to learn how to play." So I, I said yes. Um, I was trying to think up of my character in my notes. I had written down Lemon Mercy. Don't know why. Don't know where that combination of words came from. And I said, okay, I guess that's my D&D character. Uh, and then, like, when doing my research for D&D, people... Can you hear Baxter barking? No. We love okay. Baxter anyways. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Baxter's fine. Baxter. Uh, I, you know, people talk about characters dying, and so I jokingly said, I'll just name all of my characters Lemon. That way I won't be sad when one of them dies, because I'll just have another lemon. And then I when, stuck with it. Yeah, when life gives you lemons. You make a D&D character. <laughs> That's how it goes, right? That's the old mm-hmm. adage right there. It's the old adage. Yeah, it uh, started with... Uh, oh, God, I almost said it started with Atherius, but That's because I was thinking of Atherius Bordeaux, who's streaming on Roll D5 right now. He's part of the team. Um <laughs> Uh, Aesop. It was one of Aesop's fables. Um, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. That's where the, the lemon farmer uh put seeds in their shoes. Yeah, the, the lemon monger um yeah. seeds in their shoes. It also goes into a bit of walk a mile in someone else's shoes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. which was already a popular adage at the time. Yeah. And like the, the moisture from the feet after drinking sparkling water led to <laughs> him turning into a tree man yeah and then then the, the i don't really remember what the moral was i mean aesops yeah. aesops was kind of uh trees yeah, are people pretty... too that was the moral trees are people <laughs> yeah I, I dude i read i read them all one time because it came free on the books app and i was just like <laughs> i guess so <laughs> Uh, I don't what remember that of? one, which no, means don't I don't remember any you know, of them. You <laughs> know, they, they cut it early in the printing, um, so it's very rare to come up in any of the other uh, printings of... Yeah. yeah. It's like in Grimm's Fairy Tales. Like, some of the stories just get cut. You know, you need to get the unedited version, but those can be hard to find because they're only now just being released uh, because there's a demand it's a completionist <laughs> thing. Mm-hmm. I got you. The unabridged. I feel like... Yes. <laughs> the unabridged Aesop's fables. They're, some of those fables just get additional, like uh, the crow putting stones to get the water. Uh, stones are actually diamonds, and the crow ends up selling them later and purchases its own water fountain. So it never has to do that bullshit again. <laughs> it just invents indoor plumbing. Yes, yeah, that's how indoor pl- this fictitious crow uh, invented indoor plumbing. It's so all good. 
things were made was through Aesop fables. Yeah. In fact, I think human morality came from Aesop's fables. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying over here. I appreciate I appreciate how hard you go for the bit. I really do. Uh, oh, yeah, no there was a point where I was with y'all, and then I'm like, oh, they're fucking with me. <laughs> and I just came back down. At what point? It took, uh, as soon as you said abridged. <laughs> um, so that, it was pretty, pretty it's long. It was pretty late. Like, <laughs> I, I'd be real like, <laughs> very long. I know. I know. <laughs> and I'm like, that doesn't sound right. After the all the other shit you said. <laughs> Listen, man, if I don't know anything, I'll just say, yeah, sure. Oh, my God. I agree with you. I feel so <laughs> bad for anybody listening to the podcast and who's not just straight up watching our faces. Just double down and you, you're like, are these people fucking for real? And but, um... also, if you're just looking at my face for some reason, just like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Adrian, I love you so much. Okay. Sorry, Adrian. Mika, I love you more. Don't tell Adrian. Yes. Oh, my God. It's like I just won Taskmaster again. <laughs> I don't know who won Taskmaster. I mean, true. Why yeah, do I don't know who won, but. Listen, it's still. <laughs> the jury's still out is all I'll say. Okay. I could have... be me. It could be. It could, it could be. I don't know what jury you're talking about. I've got the numbers sitting right in front of me. Up. Anyways. It's how we score it. Exactly. Well, uh, two words, Spider-Man, okay? So that's all I have to say. <laughs> uh, back it up. Back it up. No, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Just depends <laughs> yeah. on how we score it. Okay. I'm not going to say no, anything. No, it's fine. But, no. like, I know. You know. <laughs> You know. All right, Just all right. Push that hair behind my my ears. You know. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you could be the taskmaster. Have you ever thought oh about it? Oh my gosh. Like, Ooh. Yeah. Like, um, people, task oh daddy. God. Oh my god. Yeah, Stop task that. daddy. No. Step my daddy. Task daddy. fucking weakness. My fucking weakness is wanting to be the task daddy the whole time. <laughs> Task daddy. I've been the task daddy the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> mm. I um I can't I can't I can't handle task daddy. I'll be too it'll be too much for my fucking head. Uh it'll do a straight to my fucking head. I, I wanna be Alex Horn so bad because I don't want the power. <laughs> you want the silly but also but also alex is right there so why wasn't alex just alex right i was i was wondering that yeah it's fine yeah I it's because we didn't it, i didn't pack a suit it's honestly it was poor planning on our part i my part. i want to be paul williams from taskmaster new zealand that's fair oh yeah i love that man the Taskmaster I New Zealand clips are getting him. coming through on my For You page right now, and they're <clears throat> spectacular. I, I love New Zealand so much. But Baxter. But Baxter so, wants to go now me... to New Zealand. Want... No, okay. Okay, sir. Um, yeah, Paul Williams. He has an album. He's a really good singer. Um, yeah. He looks like he'd probably be a pretty decent kisser, too. I, I don't Ooh. know. I that came up in conversation guys that was weird <laughs> I, I i'd guess him so this is fun because the paul williams that i know in my brain that i pull up is the one um that did all the muppet stuff like like what? the old the old man mm -hmm. the like singer and songwriter paul williams mm. oh both paul i guess everyone named paul williams is a singer songwriter <laughs> yeah it's just in the cards for them but only one of them is the Taskmaster's assistant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Buddy, what are you harumphing at? <laughs> no, I, th I think I agree with you. I think he'd be a good kisser. Right? Yeah. Like, he's just, he's got the, I saw this in a Reddit comment. Um, he looks like <laughs> the uh, younger brother that your mom forces you to hang out with. 
to to bring with you when you hang out with your friends. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's just the yeah. vibe he but gives that, off. Now that feels I weird connected it, to the kissing comments. It, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Hey, uh, yeah. You can be an adult and have that be true. And kissing your brother? No, no not kissing your no, brother. No, like, no. Look no. like a brother person. <laughs> no, we have our wires crossed somewhere. We need to plug back, unplug and plug back in. <laughs> hey guys, it's hard stop. We're not kissing brothers. Not no. today. No. Forever. Pause. No. No. <laughs> no brother kissing. No, please. Um, you know how this many is not cousins? A Tom Brady how family. Many, how many cousins have to be your second cousin for? Uh, oh my God! Stop. <laughs> to... You don't want to kiss uh, them. Anyways. <laughs> Listen, I'm just. Just taking a poll. Just taking a poll. <laughs> <laughs> for a friend. It's for a friend. It's for a friend. <laughs> no, I... A kissy your I, cousin I, is for your friend? No. <laughs> no, I, I literally just had this conversation with somebody that I know. That they found out that the person that they were dating, like, a thousand years ago, they had a similar, like, aunt... And they were like, wait, we need to go look at this. And they were like eighth cousins. Like, <laughs> oh, That's not bad. If they wouldn't see each other at a family reunion, <laughs> then we've got nothing to worry about. I don't know I, if they're I, connected I, I, The silence after way. I said that. <laughs> Listen, no, I'm trying to think of the logistics of all of this. Like, I, because like. Unfortunately, this isn't the first cousin conversation we've had on this podcast. <laughs> oh, it's a wrong thing. thing. <laughs> like, we, I live in a small town, and then we really had to check, and we're all good. But, like, for a second there, I thought I was dating my cousin. <laughs> so, like, this conversation comes up. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. No, that's okay. Uh, listen, I think it's just fucked if you have the conversation and fucked if you don't this is a TGRPG I don't know. RPG podcast <laughs> this is a cousin fucking yeah, podcast yeah when, when did we what was the, this, it's been like 30 minutes since we talked about TTRPGs <laughs> <laughs> alright so what like seducing your cousin positive or negative uh, <laughs> modifier <laughs> oh my god negative like oh, a minus my... three do you think it would be roll like if you weren't like flirting with your cousin? Do you think you would roll with disadvantage because it's not a familial tie? <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> what are we... So I'm gonna. Um, I have an upcoming one page TTRPG I'm writing called "Kissing Cousins." Where... <laughs> Stunning. Let's work on it right now. Workshop yeah, it's it. uh, Kissing cousins. post post apocalyptic. Um... <laughs> Very Fallout. <laughs> or no, is it's it Adam and set? Eve. It's, Ooh, it's Adam is and it, Eve. Is yeah. it set in like mm. West Virginia? Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Appalachia? Yeah, Appalachia. Adam and Eve were in Appalachia confirmed. Oh. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess they're more kind of the same person if Eve was made from the rib of Adam. They're, they're the same person. Uh, so I guess it, narcissism? The OG? Kissing cousins? The OG yeah. Kissing cousins. The the OG Cersei and whatever the fuck her brother's Jamie. name is. Whatever. Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say whatever too. <laughs> Why did I know that? Because <laughs> we've all really got distracted with Cersei, it's fine. Yeah. Oh. Queen. Queen. Queen shit. Just Queen in the shit, books, you know? she's so dumb. And I love it. <laughs> Uh, if only I could read. <laughs> <laughs> if only they let me out of the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, make me a sandwich, Adrian. What does that mean? Go back to the kitchen where you belong. <laughs> Am I like Cinderella, or is this just like? I really I'm like some kidding. lasagna. Oh, I'm just kidding. No! If that's an intensive, <laughs> I need you to go. <laughs> I'm bleeping that last part out. <laughs> Anyways, mm. Alex is dying. I'm going to make a noise. Okay. Okay, that's it. Every time I finish a bottle of something, I, I have to blow into it and make the... The... Yeah. You what you're I don't know when or how that started, but it's been going on since at least college. Yeah? 
Yeah. How's that OCD uh, treating you? Um, I, just fu- <laughs> I actually did just get my meds off for my OCD, so... No! <laughs> it's a oh fun story, yeah. <laughs> fun story. Got diagnosed. Oh, no. Yeah, I got, I got diagnosed uh, like a year and a half ago. Um, I remember talking to my therapist, like... I've known since I was a kid, like, oh, I probably have OCD, but it wasn't until a year and a half ago where I'm like, oh, maybe I should talk to an adult about this. And then that. <laughs> um, someone who could fix this. Yeah, someone who could actually fix it. Like, I wonder if this has, like, I mean, the ticks are getting a little out of control. And, like, I wonder if, um, oh, maybe it's affected other parts of my life. And so I was talking to my doctor, and I'm like, oh, I think I might have OCD. And she, uh, she like kind of closes her notebook and says, "Okay," and then I started listing off like all of the, all of my t- ticks and stuff, mm-hmm. um, and she just sat there and nodded. And when I was done, because uh, it was a long list, she said, uh, "Mika, I think we're about to change your life." <laughs> uh, also, she, it turns like, out th- her hands. Yes, like mm-hmm, we're about to change your life, <laughs> like Mister Birds. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, it turns out the medicine I had been on for a decade leading up to that moment, I had just gotten off of it, um, aggravates OCD. So, <gasps> Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, geez. Which explained why I was feeling better a bit when I was off of it. So yeah, um, <laughs> OCD, the OCD is manageable. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're sorry for laughing at your your <laughs> mental struggles, but um, <laughs> you know, we understand. Yeah. yeah, Alex has been diagnosed, and I've never been diagnosed <laughs> with it. I I have depression. That's all I got. I just got I just the big sack. depression. That's all I got. It's just I... a little bit of depression. Alex thinks I have ADHD or something. <laughs> it's fine. You just get along with us really well. So, like, listen, if you're getting along with us really well, you're, there's something wrong with you, too. Like, I'm... <laughs> no, that's usually how it works. You're just, like, broken too. neurospicy people yeah. and queer people tend to just somehow find each other, like, before the real discovery happens. It's just how it mm. goes. Yeah. Right. You look around at your no, friends, I, I and if agree. they're all I neurospicy, agree. I'm sorry to tell you, buddy, you were also sure. neurospicy. Yeah. I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Plus, like, I just have problems with people changing plans last minute. Okay, this is not a diss on our guests, just FYI. I'm just talking about, like, in other things. Because guests are fine. But when it's like, hey, can you do this thing? Like, with my family or my brother or anybody who says, hey, can you do this thing? And I already plan to do something else. My brain just explodes. But, like, that's nothing. That's okay. <laughs> hey, buddy. No, I'm fine. Mm-mm. Uh... <laughs> oh god, there was something else I was gonna say. No, neurospicy. Uh fuck. Uh, t- uh I believe in you. I love you so much. <laughs> You're, You're a amazing. great person. Oh oh especially in the TTRPG space, like everyone is very neurospicy. And worked. like you know, for all the like like every actual play like I've applied to Dune Beyond, like there's that section where like you know, do, I, do you identify with any of these? Because, like, marginalized, etc. I'm like, yes, I'm uh, uh, BIPOC, biracial, you know, got the, I'm queer, Latin. Um, but they always include, like, neurodivergent as one of the things, disabled. And I'm always genuinely surprised when I look through the Roll D5 casting sheet and I see someone puts none of the above (gasps) and i'm like i'm sorry who are you (laughs) what are you doing in my domain (laughs) how did they get through who who who, who sent you (laughs) yeah like how did you answer all three questions across the the bridge with the troll the questions three only queer neurodivergent people are supposed to be able to answer those questions (laughs) <laughs> once again i think it's a conversation like hey buddy you answered no but everything else says yes <laughs> <laughs> you knew I how to use the word slay the... properly in a sentence so 
I think you need to do some internal thinking. Hey, buddy, take this rad's R and just, you know, just let me know. Oh, you you got a hundred. What is okay? Hi, news. sorry. What's mm-hmm. the rad's R for? <laughs> Uh, the Rads R is used as a screener for um, autism, but also um, it really just gives you an, a neuro spicy level. Mm-hmm. Um, so the lower score means that you you probably don't have anything going on. Um, but as you like approach, I think it's forty like forty five. Um, uh-huh. uh, I've never heard little. this. A little, a little spicy. I make a ninety-five. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got pretty low in my red zone. <laughs> just push the I, think, I remember doing it like oh. in twenty twenty. We were just like taking all the tests. Oh my god, what did you get? And we just set out the red czar test. And I'm like, oh, oh <laughs> no, I'm pretty, I'm pretty low. Sorry, guys. That's okay. Listen, you might not have the tism, and that's okay. Like we, yeah. we still love you. Like you're still yeah. here. A little less, um, but we still love you. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm so glad. <laughs> my love is conditional. Yeah. I feel no, we only love people who are just like us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. No others. No. no. <laughs> but I totally agree. <laughs> At some cases, some people were like, hey, by the way, this is what I got out of the, the, the this text, this religious text. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's oh god. There's this dude on the TikTok, rule? Dan McClellan, who is a Bible yeah. scholar. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. I love he's him. oh, mm-hmm. he's so cool. I want to be his friend. Yeah, no, he he goes through it. Hey, let's get into it. And then he's like a nerd, so he's like the fit for today was dead. Yeah, cool. yeah. And like I also think he's kissable. Like, Not as kissable as Paul Williams, but. <laughs> All right, all right. Yeah, I'm not he's there got, for he's, him. He's got the daddy vibes. I like the daddy vibes. <laughs> daddy See, Bible think... teacher. But... I hate you. Let's go. Oh, do I have friends? Do you that have would... religious trauma? We need to also unpack. <laughs> we have friends that are, have the same trauma as you. They have some book recommendations. <laughs> like, no. I think one of them's called this priest. <laughs> on, on, and I uh, love talking about religious trauma. And, uh, God, there's this Discord channel we're on that we thought, like, we would be it's safe to talk about, like, this religious trauma and to kind of make fun of it and stuff. But as soon as one of us said something about Mormonism, there was somebody in the Discord channel who was active Mormon, active LDS, mm. and we're like, God damn it, this was supposed to be a safe place for us to, to bitch about a religious trauma okay yeah i guess that's not gonna happen (laughs) oh no i mean like dude's nice but like you know like he also deserves to be safe and respected yeah and respected Uh, so i'm like it's unfortunate whatever (laughs) gotta take this conversation to the dms (laughs) you have to take it off the lds (laughs) oh man gosh there's been a lot of like former like there's some people that are still religious within the space and there's some people who are like at, like completely out of it and it's just like you know it makes a it takes a village to, to, to kind of make a a good group like i i understand the feelings of those who are still religious and understand those mm-hmm. who have had trauma so like i think it's fair to have those within the community i don't there I, those who start to push uh things onto people who are not there to do that they're just there to play games then it's just kind of like oh it's cringe yeah. so i understand um yeah i understand that i was raised roman catholic and uh went to private school for catholic catholics private school and uh it just it just didn't it just didn't stick dude they tried <laughs> there's a lot of bad people and i'm just like I don't know if I like this. <laughs> Some of my friends are gay. Why are we hating on my gay friends? Uh. I ask too many questions about women in catechism. <laughs> uh, yeah, they don't. They don't like. They women. didn't like that. No, 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 no. Cover. I said, "Well, what about what everybody else?" And they were like, "Mary." And I was like, "Cool," but like, there's more, right? And they were like, "No." And I was like, "But." But I want to 
want to wear the fancy gown and ring the bells. Like, what? <laughs> Why can I not do it? I want to participate. No. And I'll, oh, you're not going to let me. That's fine. I'm... <laughs> Bye. And then, um, you know, got yelled at when my dad was cremated by my grandma because she was like, well, you didn't, you shouldn't have. And I was like, <clears throat> um, but I don't know your rules of your fake religion. So I don't know. <laughs> That's not what I said to her because she's old, but. <laughs> <laughs> she's old and not long. I was like, I'm world. sorry. I didn't know you also didn't People pay for anything. So shut the fuck up. Yeah, you don't get a say in this. <laughs> Financially, shut the fuck up. Unless, <laughs> but if you, but if you don't, <laughs> in in here, right here, you want him to be flying, up, flown up there, give it to me. But no, oh. make it rain. No. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't hear it rain, I don't hear you. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey Baxter. Not, not my dead dad. <laughs> uh we made it we made it i don't know i don't think we did i don't know uh, not not this episode i don't know how many episodes there needs no. to be like a dead dad counter it's been zero <laughs> episodes since you mentioned your dead dad my dead dad it's and it's fine. been it's been a long time since i have mentioned cos that's also true Chris that's Trump. my new one pager yeah. is uh <laughs> is my dead dad i play and it mine's chris estrad yeah which is, they're the same, you know? They're listen, all equal. Listen, listen, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> the My China's Dead Dad one pager, I think, would be like a, a necromancy moment, right? Like, mm -hmm. we're resurrecting the Dead Dad, or maybe a Dead Dad. Yeah. A Dead Dad. I mean, you play a group of necromancers who want to, or a group of, of school kids who have discovered uh, the Necronomicon, and uh, now you gather together to perform the ritual to mm -hmm. revive your parents. It can actually, this could be a really good um, exploration. Uh, I mean, bleed, I guess it could be, which we can talk about some other time. Uh, but a good exploration <laughs> of uh, trauma working through these sad things as you work through these memories and you have to, to let them out, tell the story in order to resurrect uh, this, this person as part of the ritual. It would be very mm -hmm. cathartic. You could be. And based on your That's roles, right. like, that person does or does not get resurrected. Yeah, exactly. Or you get that, like, Casper moment, right? Where, like, mom just <laughs> comes through, but, like, has to go back. Yeah. It's, like, onward? This could be a belonging outside belonging game, actually. Like, you choose your playbook. You have to make your moves. Um let's let's talk about this let's <laughs> let's get let's like let's like get together my dad yeah. this happen yeah my dead dad you bring the trauma hashtag i'll bring my psychology degree that i don't use anymore I'll i have bring, to use it please i'll bring <laughs> please the nerd clusters <laughs> yeah for this trauma bowl yes also and they were just like i don't know where i was going with that sentence i immediately it immediately crashed somewhere else. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, buddy. I hope you find your dad. <laughs> We're trying to dads. resurrect him. <laughs> oh, man. Dexter. Uh, oh, he's so good. Yeah. Look at those little ears. Those little ears. I love you, Dexter. The little underbite. He's perfect. You're, you're perfect in every way. <laughs> He's perfect. Sorry, I'll put him down. No, don't put him down. <laughs> we love him. Still okay. Right. You're saying on my lap. Uh, today's fit was a plain white tee. Wow. Uh, nice. <laughs> I'm Dan McClellan. Uh, <laughs> Let's send this to him. <laughs> yes. Why not? Tell him how kissable I think he is. Um, <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, you gotta shoot hey, your why shot. Not? Yeah. I know he's married and has kids or whatever. I don't want to be a home wrecker, but you know, if, if they practice ethical non monogamy, call me up, Dan. <laughs> uh, love it here. <laughs> I am so lonely. Anyways. Uh... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I feel that. I also 
do absolutely nothing to try and fix that. So, you know. Listen, my friends keep telling me to go out, and I'm just like, but I have a podcast to edit. Like, what am I? I can't let that go through. I don't have a job. I can't afford to go out. No. Wow. <laughs> uh, I was there. I was there. I was there. So, dear listener, if you are looking, For you are looking. We got yeah. two <laughs> eligible bachelors. Oh, we're talking about that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, when I was in undergrad, I mean, I guess Baxter doesn't necessarily is part of the deal because he, he's actually my sister's dog, but mm. oh. so cute. Um, in undergrad, we used to do a date auction where we would auction off men to raise money for the literary magazine. Auction off men for dates. Yeah. There's a Gilmore Girl episode about that too. That yeah, because like, I've yeah, he, and like the the uh, last year we were able to do it, we made it with the picnic baskets. Yeah. Uh, it's okay, Adrian. <laughs> it was a we weird. We just maybe maybe we don't, you know, buy and and sell our friends. I don't. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> Maybe Baxter, we don't. Why are you a rump thing? Because it's hard to be a dog. It's a tough life. It's, it's a, so. It's a oh, he's life. so good. It's a hard knock <laughs> life for him. <laughs> Buddy, did you eat your dinner? Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, my Goodbye sister must be home. Here. Okay, yeah. Ah. Um, the human. Yeah, his the human is here. His, his true human. Oh, his mom. That, that's how I f- feel like with my my dog, because now my dog's attached to my dad because my dad keeps throwing hot dogs at her. <laughs> Fair. That's that's like I know that's bad, so that's why I don't do it. But my dad, I'm not home when my dad gets home, and he's just da da, and she's like, "I love you now." <laughs> I'm like, "Fuck." Mm-mm. Dad's Anyways, encroaching your territory. You gotta yeah, fight him now. I'm sad. I. I uh, the words I have. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we're hitting the hour mark. Uh, Micah. Mika. Mika! What the yeah, fuck is wrong with you? Disadvantage. Uh, demerit. Disadvantage. <laughs> you get a demerit. Deme- Ooh, oh, shoot, no. Give him a demerit. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're still playing demerit. Triangle Agency. Demerit. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah. Can I roll... Uh, uh, what's my abilities? I can't get anyone's name right, so not a demerit. Uh, so <laughs> actually the opposite of a demerit. Commendation? Uh, hey, oh, right, because you're the barista. I'm the yeah. barista, so, so okay. I don't need uh, anybody. That feels no, right. you're right. Commenda- commendation. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you I... Uh, being here today, Ellen. Uh... <laughs> I, t- I take it upon myself to know. be everyone's uh, general manager. Yes, GM. I love giving out uh, General Mika. Yeah, I love giving out demerits General. and commendations. Um, <laughs> I actually gave a demerit to, to Caleb, the lead designer of Triangle Agency, when we interviewed him on Roll D Five, and he was like, "Wow, no one has ever given me a demerit. Um, that's that's new." Because he's the lead designer, who would give him a demerit? Uh, you apparently. <laughs> yeah, because he deserved it. All right, I'm about to earn a demerit. Mika, where can they find you? Hey, um, you can find me on Roll D5, R-O-L-E-D5, or on Threads. I like Threads. Mika underscore Macintosh. I'm not going to spell out my name. You can find me. You can figure it out. Go go to to, to Adrian's and, and be creepy. Go through following list. You can find me. Or beacons.ai yeah. forward slash Mika Macintosh. Um, you can catch me on lots of different channels currently. I don't know when this is going to come out, so I might not be on those things anymore. Uh, Lost Caravan, I'm on there. They keep casting me and shit, so I guess I'm going to keep showing up on their channel. Um, Talking XP, but only for like oh. another month, month and a half, because we're wrapping up Curse of Strahd. Uh, then I'm never oh. talking to Johnny again. Because that's how that works. Yeah. Um, no, Johnny is so cool. I'm so happy yeah, to let Johnny, me play with we... him. 
Um, yeah, I didn't realize you were on that that stream. It's been a while. This is like I, I jumped in a stream like when we first interviewed Johnny. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! When did you interview Johnny? When uh, last year? This year? Johnny was this year. Mm-hmm. Right? No, Johnny was recently. Johnny feels like it was he was recently. Yes, we jump. We we. I jumped in. I watched the Curse of Straw game, and you guys were in Argent Vostholt. Yeah, that I was that was me. That was when I first joined. Oh, yeah, I play okay. Citrin, the um, the <laughs> the reborn cleric of the uh, group, who's like mm-hmm. stitched together from dragonborn and human parts. Hell yeah! In he my speaks opinion. he speaks a terrible with a terrible southern accent. <laughs> Which I decided yeah, last second to do for another month. Yeah, I guess another like two months. Yeah, like another two mm-hmm. months. Um, uh, you can catch me there. Um, you can. I actually have a religious trauma podcast that I do. I haven't updated it in two years, but I'm working on another episode. I'm just I, so bad at editing the interview. It's called Queer Steak. Q U E E R S T A K E. Steaks are. It's it's. So it's a Chicago thing, but also it's a Mormonism thing. Like if there are individual wards or congregations, but then they're part of stakes, which are part of um, larger areas. But it's where I, I interview uh, queer, current, former, and questioning members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh, you can catch me on ooh, on Spotify, The Heart is a Dungeon, uh, Season 2 uh, by Rara. It's a, a sad little podcast uh, about uh, being fey and I am a fey crow named La La Lemon who smokes has a, a raspy <laughs> nice. voice and I'm sure there are lots of other things you can catch me on but the easiest way to keep track of that is probably threads that's a lie I don't post when I'm on anything anymore I just hi I'm Mika I do things I'm the co-creator of Roll D5 uh, Brazilian American <laughs> producer streamer and let's play sometime slay hell yeah thank you dear listener for joining us on another episode of dungeons and degrees you can find us wherever pods are cast please share like subscribe give us five stars all of those things will help get our name out just a little bit more every day and if you really hate us don't say shit because fuck you um right in the ear. just kidding right just just don't say anything. Um, you can also find us on Patreon. You can find us on Discord. You can find us on all social medias. Um, feel free to email us if you want to be on the podcast. If you have a recommendation, let us know. Um, we would love to hear it. And that's it for me. All right. Thank you so much for listening. My name's Adrian. I'm Alex. I'm Mika. Go have some fun. Slay. Slay.